One is just extreme focus on the problem. Um, like build your war room with your trusted team and, you know, prioritize this above everything else that's going on. Don't don't think that, you know, these things are just going to blow over. Two is really just creative problem solving and tapping into a broad network of people who've got expertise, uh, have been through similar situations and can can help you address the problem. I think there's always a temptation as a leader to sort of like internalize a problem and like, I can solve this on my own and and sort of like keep the communications tight. But I think it sort of takes a village in a way to, to solve some of these crises. Trust is never built in a crisis. You have to cultivate relationships and trust all of the time, right? So that when you're in this moment of crisis, it, it helps to mediate the situation slightly. It's about owning the moment. In the context of layoffs, one of the things I see companies doing, which I, I really do think is a mistake, is trying to um, bury the lead um, that, that with a lot of good news about how, how well the company's doing. And it sort of begs the question, well, if the company's doing this well, why, why are we making layoffs? Most management teams I work with really feel the burden of making layoffs. It's a, it, 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 they're not happy events for, for company leaders. And so it's owning that this, um, it's th there's some sadness with about having to make these layoffs, acknowledge the contributions of the people who are leaving um, to the extent that you can talk about the support that you're providing those employees who've been laid off. I thought the Stripe founders did that quite well Very in a recent well. yeah. announcement. And, and I had my own experience with this at, at Trulia. We were acquired by Zillow. And on the day of the closing of the deal, which was meant to be this joyous day to celebrate, you know, uh, coming together of two companies, we announced a layoff of, of, I think it was 350 out of our thousand employees. We worked so hard to take care of the employees that were impacted. We held a job fair, literally something that we put together where we invited, you know, other employers to like come and, and meet our awesome candidates uh, we reached out to our personal networks to try to, you know, really work hard on behalf of employees. And I think people really felt that, you know, it, it doesn't take away the sting, but it makes you feel more supported and I think really helps people respect the leadership. <laughs>